thought of the week as we we wrap up this week's show <clears throat> this is from john glenn and uh the quote this week is we have an infinite amount to learn both from nature and from each other we have an infinite amount to learn both from nature and from each other and i think that when i hear that it's just that that having an open mind to learning and realizing that nobody on this planet has anything figured out there's how would we know we're all just trying to simply do our best but i think that when you have an open mindset to learning and you realize that the process of learning it's not an end game you don't just like okay i'm learned i'm all learned up I've got it all figured out it never ends and it, I think it's being uh, open to ideas of, of proper discussion and not criticizing and personally attacking somebody um, because that tends to be a, a thing we see with people. If they don't uh, agree with something, their first go-to is to attack and criticize. And again, with me, you'll be blocked on that. And people don't understand, well, you can't take criticism. No, you're personally, you have a horrible mindset. And I don't share. I don't care to to associate or to let you uh, to even into my world with your current mindset. Now, if you could fix your mindset and you, maybe you create a new page, which some of you do, and you can you can conduct yourself in a normal, civilized way, then you know, then great. But I think keeping yourself open to the idea of learning. And there's a quote that I have here. Um, I actually have it hanging in my bathroom downstairs. I got quotes all around my house, guys. And I just got a new quote, work harder, work harder, work harder. Nobody cares, work harder, work harder, work harder, work harder for my conic. And I love seeing that because when I see that, it triggers me to want to just work harder. And, uh, and Grant Cardone got from his book, and I've always been like this for the longest time, it's just putting reminders around yourself because like, we live in a very negative world and it's really easy to get into a negative mindset. So if I'm in a negative mindset and I come home, and I, uh, you know, I'm feeling down and I'm like, man, oh, I don't want to do anything. And then I look up and I see that work harder. Nobody cares. It reminds me of why I'm doing why I'm doing more work to be done. Get back on the ball. So, uh, and this quotes in my bathroom and here downstairs just happens to be down there. Did I not get a good picture of that? I didn't get a good picture of it. What a dumbass. Ah, that really, that really, I botched that. And I don't remember it word for word. It's essentially, though, keeping an open mind to learning. <laughs> that if we, if we wake up every day wanting to learn, uh, we will win, is the, is the idea from the quote, is, is what it is trying, the point that it is trying to get across. But, but if we are closed-minded and, and think we know it all, um, that could really that could hinder our growth and keep us from evolving and growing and uh, There's just I've learned that it's, as much as we know like it's I'm always learning I go through three four or five audio books a week. I always read a physical book every week or two and uh, In my downtime I try to just process as much information and take things that I could take and apply and um, and incorporate into my life to better myself and um, and I pass that along stuff that's helped me, I pass it along because it, it can help others, I feel. And it's just sharing the right information. And again, when we hear something that we maybe don't agree with, and guys, and I can tell you this from personal experience, I love Gary Vaynerchuk, I follow Gary V. I don't agree with everything Gary puts out. And you know what? I just don't like or comment on the things that I don't necessarily, if I think, if it just for whatever reason, it doesn't resonate with me doesn't mean that he's wrong it's just that he's speaking from a different point of view it's just something maybe i don't associate with and so instead of stopping and then making a comment trying to disagree with him and start an argument or whatever the case may be, i just simply no, not my post that's for other people not me that because that might resonate with with a uh, hundred thousand other people but it doesn't for me so i just move on and you know it, it's i think too understanding that you don't have to stop to argue with people. You can just not comment. It's even if you're right. If you're right, you're right. You know you're right. If you're in, you keep living. Sometimes I think we just get caught up to. We want to argue. 
and we want because it distracts us from focusing on ourselves or we so we want to be right so bad at the end of the day it's just wasting time you can, the whole world can agree with you it doesn't matter it's just uh, if you know you know what's it matter if everyone else knows so that's my thought of the week keep an open mind to learning guys that was a little scattered and all over the place but i'm a little scattered and all over the place we have an infinite amount to learn, both from nature and from each other. Even from a dumbass, guys. You see a dumbass. <laughs> you can learn a lot from a dumbass on not on how not to act. Or you're like, man, I hope I uh, never conduct myself in that nature. Man, I hope I don't be judgmental like that. With all of that, guys. And that is my thought of the week with that. Hey guys, it's the big guy Ryback, and I just want to say thank you very much for watching. Go ahead and punch that like, smash that subscribe button, and check out my all-natural my all-natural supplement line. Supplement, supplement. Stupid. My all-natural supplement line. Feed me more nutrition. Available on Amazon and feedmemore.com. And as always, Conversation with the Big Guy Ryback available on all podcast platforms, iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud, and wherever podcasts are available. Never forget, feed me more.